Heybudai Nation. So you already set up Klaviyo, you set up your Shopify store, but now you want to know how to integrate the two. Today I want to show you this in this short tutorial video, so stick to the end to learn it. All right, so this is a brand new Klaviyo account. I just registered it and also I created a brand new Shopify account and I will connect these two now. So uh, you should go here, go to integrations and enabled integrations none and here is all possible integrations now look for shopify add integration and now you need the url of your store so this is the url of mine i need to copy paste it and store url okay this is done the next point is on-site tracking. This tells you who browses your website, your product pages, and based on that, you can set up different email flows. And that's where we will start. You will be prompted to configure on-site tracking after connecting to your Shopify store. So now I should connect to Shopify. So let's install the Klaviyo app in Shopify and integrate. Let's do it. And now it's working, as you can see. When you are in Klaviyo, I will open a new tab. You can see these people under the active on site events. So you should go to metrics and active on site. So if people visit your website, you should, this shouldn't be zero because if it is, then this tracking doesn't work correctly. So you want to set this up to modify view your Shopify app embed setting. And it's quite simple. So basically, you just have to turn it on and save it and now i can go back and update settings update the integration and as you can see now this uh, metric will increase uh, from zero when people visit the website all right so add viewed product tracking to my site it should be checked sync settings sync settings from shopify and to Shopify. So from Shopify, sync your Shopify email subscribers to Klaviyo. So here you can decide where the new email subscribers should go to what email marketing list. And by default, I would recommend the newsletter list. However, if you want, you can change it. You can set up a new email list because new subscribers, they have to go to an email list and you can define that. So if you want, you can go here. I will just create this one. Let's say I want to create a pop-up subscribers list. And this could be for uh, subscribers to a pop-up only. There isn't anyone on the list now. I need to refresh this. So sync and pop-up subscribers list. So this can be your default uh, if you want, but you can uh, also change it to newsletter. Sync your Shopify SMS subscribers to Klaviyo. So now i won't dive deep into uh, sms but you can also set this up and you can have a separate sms marketing list and then to shopify so you can sync this is the default setup sync profiles and profile data from klaviyo to shopify i recommend this to be set up for all profiles also sync it with shopify both the email and sms subscription status if you have SMS, I would highly recommend this also for legal purposes. If uh, Klaviyo and Shopify, they are set up and integrated correctly, you should see these numbers higher than zero if you have activity on your website. And then here you can see when was the last synchronization between the two. So now I will just update settings, update the integration, and it should be all good now. The next thing that I want to show you is a best practice. Go to list and segments and only lists. So let's say your default list is the pop-up subscriber list. And what you want to do is go to settings and the opt-in process. By default, Klaviyo uses the double opt-in what means what this means is that once when somebody subscribes you send them or Cleo sends them an automatic email where they have to click the button to actually subscribe to email list so they have to opt in twice that's that's why it's called double opt-in but what we usually prefer is single opt-in 
So once they enter their email and they click the button, I want to subscribe, they don't get any emails for confirmation, but you can send your first marketing email to them right away. We usually prefer single opt-in. There are pros and cons. So single opt-in is better for faster growth. Double opt-in is better for uh, more quality. And some brands, they pick that, especially big brands who already have a huge email list. But if you are a smaller brand below like 50K subscribers, I would go with single opt-in. Here's another one. So you can, uh, by default, this is not checked. If somebody subscribes, sorry, unsubscribes from your list, from this list, you can also choose that they get unsubscribed from all of your marketing emails. But one person, they can be subscribed to multiple email lists. Let's say they subscribe through your checkout and through your pop-up. And uh, you can decide if someone unsubscribed from, from one, they can get unsubscribed to, from the other one. We usually don't check this one, but it's something to consider. Hey Budai Nation, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more tutorials and similar videos, make sure that you go down, you subscribe to this channel. Also hit the notification bell to get fresh updates of my newest videos. Our mission here at Budai Media is to help e-commerce stores grow by retention marketing and focusing more on their best customers. And finally, before I leave, I will also leave a uh, link into the description, which is a free 50 point checklist for your Klaviyo email marketing setup. This is what we use with our clients as well. So make sure you go down and check out that link. And finally, before I leave, I also give you one more video to watch, which is about Klaviyo welcome flow. So this can be your next thing to set up if you are setting up your e-commerce store and your email marketing. So check out that video as well.